Full disclosure, a review copy of this game was provided to me either by its publisher or development team, Simulacra, from exciting and mysterious to boring and tedious. Simulacra is a mystery game where you play as yourself. You find a broken phone at your doorstep containing a strange video of a woman saying not to find her, and naturally that just makes you want to find her more. The girl's name is Anna, and this is her phone. So you play a game of let me go through all this girl's personal info and pictures to find out what happened to her. Is she dead? Is she alive? Who did it? Everything Who kidnapped her? Is she even kidnapped? Just... So many questions, and these questions is initially what makes Simulacra so intriguing. Gathering your suspects through text threads and dating apps. Trying to pull info out of people pretending to be Anna and not get the cops involved. Because clearly you're a way better detective than an actual detective could be. I was having fun trying to solve this mystery, rearranging corrupted messages and putting corrupted pictures back together, interrogating the creeps in her DMs, questioning and antagonizing her ex-boyfriend, and then the game just goes off track and becomes a bunch of nonsense cliff diving off the initial promise of a murder mystery type story, and this completely ruined the experience for me and made me feel like this 5 hour goose chase was a complete waste of time. I don't want to spoil any endings, so I won't, though there are multiple endings. I'm just very disappointed with how lazy the storytelling got. There were so many passive people, I feel like the writer just kind of put a bow on some bullshit Black Mirror type ending that just made me roll my eyes and regret making it to the answer. I had all my theories, and this is one of them sitting in the back of my head, because much like the writer, I too have watched Black Mirror. I was just hoping it didn't end this way, and my hopes were crushed. I loved feeling like Sherlock Holmes snooping through this phone for scorned and secret lovers, but in the end, it felt like it was all for nothing. I give Simulacra a 6 out of 10. If you played Simulacra, tell me what you thought about it down in the comment section below. If you haven't played it, tell me if you plan on picking it up. Thumbs up. If you liked the video, subscribe for me to the channel. Follow me on Instagram at SuperKenGaming. Thanks for watching, and of course, stay beautiful. All of this being belonging. All of this patience. Love is okay. See you cut. If you like this video, please consider supporting me on Patreon so that I can continue to bring you reviews for all the newest games at patreon.com slash supercangaming. You'll get access to early audio and video versions of reviews, exclusive Let's Play videos, and you'll even get to choose the game I play next. Thanks for watching, and of course, stay beautiful.